Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Jerry from Bigelow Woodcraft, and it's that time of year. We just popped the uh, bucket off the chimney, and I've been filling this up with wood over the course of the summer. It's that time of year we gotta fire it up. I'll be slaved to this for the next about seven months. However, it's free heat. Now, right now I got all the cutoffs in from just odds and ends over the year. This central boiler, is, this is your season 21. It's the 5648. It has 385 gallons of water in it. I've not had any problems with it then other than occasionally I would have one of these rope gaskets fail and you get a runaway fire. But these aren't a pressurized system. There's a vent on top that allows it to just purge out. But you can boil off the water. So I'm going to check the water real quick here. Make sure we're Oh yeah, right to the top. Oh, it's a little tight. What I did last year, right after I was done with the season, I drained it all, filled it back up with fresh water, so we're good to go. I'm gonna get this, oh, let's first actually make sure the pump's all working, show you inside here. So I keep a blanket on it. It's a brand new taco pump that I put on last year, right here. Uh, Brand new taco pump I put on last year. I do have ports for another one. I've put... What's leaking? Oh, just water. Wait a second. What's going on here? Oh, I turned the valve on. Whew. That was, I was like, what's going on here? So we have the taco pump going out, coming in. I keep the blanket over it for insulation. You got a nice little central boiler kit. Uh, 21 years for one of these is a long time to have this thing not leaking. In fact, just a second ago, I thought I was leaking already. But we'll turn the pump on. Yep, it's running. And the damper opened. The central, the central boiler doesn't have, this one doesn't have any forced air. It's all just with a damper. So I'm just going to get this couple rolls of pieces of paper in here and we'll see if it'll light up. We have a couple things we have to do in the house. I got to open some valves up and uh, hopefully that will do it. Let's get a maybe last couple in here. The water's running through. All right. 2024, 2025 season is upon us. There it goes. So over the course of the next few hours, I'll keep an eye on it, make sure nothing crazy happens. This is a lot of wood in here to heat this water up. Let's put this back up and I'll show you how this is, works. All I'm do, I do with this blanket is just kind of insulate all this. The water temperature is 57 degrees. On my central boiler, I'm still at factory settings, 175, the damper opens up, 185, the damper shuts down. And it, you'd think sometimes the fire was out as soon as that damper opens up, when the house is calling for heat and the water gets too cool, it works, it never goes out. So let's uh, see where we're at, it looks like it's burning. Looks like we're getting it. Hey. I think we got it. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer here, then we'll go in the house.
I said this was year 21 of this. I'm gonna show you something on my chalkboard. I write the dates down every year on the chalkboard and I've never erased them. They're still on there. So I know what date I start this every year. Would I buy this boiler again? I would definitely buy this boiler again. They talk about residential boilers. This one was only $5,000 when I bought this thing in 2004. I well, it was installed, yeah, it's probably summer 2004 because the cement says 2004 and then it adds up, matches up to my numbers. So 2004, so this is the 21st season for it. This, this machine right now is $13,000 and the machine that's designed now for residential, which this really isn't because it doesn't have all the smog control on it. Uh, is damn near $20,000. So that's out of the question now. We're not going to do that. If I have to decommission this, I'm going to look to get another one of the exact same one of these. So let's go take a look down in the basement and a few other things we got to do. Okay. Okay. The last thing I gotta do is open the valves to this heat exchanger in this, in this plenum. And the reason I drain this heat exchanger every year is because my A coil lives under here. I didn't have enough room in the plenum to put this in and I don't want it to freeze. If for some reason that A coil got so cold, I don't want anything to freeze in here. So as soon as the season's over with, I open these valves up and uh, drain it all out and then I close them. So see, you can see the water is coming out now. So we'll just, I know it's full and we'll close it up. And here it comes. Now it's running through and going through the system. We also heat our domestic hot water with the boiler. So we won't have any, in fact, that just, the hot water tank just turned on. We won't have any propane bills now until next summer. So it's, uh, what else to mention? I have four zones in this house, the ductwork zoned. So I have three zones in the house and one zone in the garage. So those four zones are independently worked by uh, thermostat, each zone, so, okay. Let's head back upstairs. All right, here's the next one. 15 of October. So year one, we started October 12th, October 14th, the 4th, the 9th, the 4th, the 3rd, the 9th, the 16th, the 6th, on and on. We got a couple of Novembers. I put an N on those dates. November 12th, November 8th, a couple of your warm years. Uh, 20, yeah, so two years ago in 22, we were at 15. That'll do it, guys. Back to the boiler. Next time I shut this down, when you see me shutting this down, will be probably end of April, early May. See you in seven months. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Not much smoke coming out of it. Pretty clean. Let's see what we have. We're at 183 degrees. Wow, still going pretty good. So all I'm gonna do is rake that up, pull it forward and let it burn down a little bit more today. Um, let's see, where can I set you? I'll get a base of coals in here and that really makes a big difference on how long your fire lasts. Let's get a couple logs in there.
right. So, this is an enclosed room, but I built a cupola so all the smoke goes out after I open the door so I don't smoke myself out. So this is my wood room. You do, do see a little smoke up there. Obviously it went up there, but uh, that's it. Hopefully you like this video, guys. My cousin drew that 50 years ago. Hopefully you like this video. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you out here at the Lumberyard Woodshed Sawmill next time.